Hi, and welcome back to My Round Robin. Your task for today will be Google Plus Communities. Google Plus Communities are a new way for you to expand your networking on Google Plus and really um, get involved in targeted communities within the Google Plus infrastructure. So you can see I'm just logged into Google Plus here, and I'm at my current um, you know, home screen. I want to go to communities over here and it will immediately pop out with some of the most popular communities you're part of. I'm just going to click on the main communities here and it'll show all the communities you're a part of and then we'll also show some community invitations. People can actually invite you directly to uh, communities. So I'm in mostly marketing and some you know this is my personal profile so there's some personal stuff in here also um, as far as like programming and um, you know, Raspberry Pi, some, you know, kind of nerdy stuff, truthfully. Um, regardless, um, so with the communities, you see all the ones that I'm a part of. Below that, you'll see Discover Communities. Most of you just will see this at the top, Discover Communities, where you can search by keyword, where I can search all the marketing communities, or it'll give you all these all other, you know, popular uh, groups, uh, communities, as they call them. Um, so these, this Google Plus community shows uh, who your Google Plus profile, Google Plus uh, circles, who's in your circles already in these groups, and you can see the amount of people that are in the, the communities also. See there's 109,000 people in this landscape photography group, so if I was a landscape photographer, that would be a huge market for me just to either network other, with other professionals or just get involved with people interested in landscaping. Uh, photography, possible possible clients who may purchase my photographs, um, and then there's ones that are targeted from er to areas, uh, targeted to religions, and all sorts of stuff. I recommend just going through and uh, searching out your keywords in the um, search box up here in the Discover right next to Discover Communities. If I search marketing, it comes up with all the communities involved with marketing, and here's the one that I actually created right here. This DIY. Uh, for small business, the DIY online marketing one, I just created this group, uh, this community, and I created it through my, my page, the actual business page. And why I did that is um, just so people that go to this community, it, they will actually see it's created by my round robin. See if I go here, um, you can see I've created here, and it says right here, created by my round robin. So the people that I eventually get to join this group will be you know hopefully um, clicking over to our profile circling the pro uh, the my round robin profile more plus wanting the stuff coming from that more and it'll end up being more traction for our Google plus Google plus page our business page I recommend as you go through the communities uh, interacting um, on a personal level through you see I'm logged in as my Justin Murray my personal profile and I find as you interact with each um, community you will find that the pages don't get as much uh, share rates and likes plus one shares comments as much as they do and personally people actually just start commenting and then people will comment are more likely to combat comment back so most of the time I'm marketing my my business in Google Plus communities I'm using my personal profile because um, you also want to get circled up especially if you're in Google authorship you want to you know, build up your personal profile also and get in as many circles as possible. Um, you can see there's different subsets to each group. There's the water cooler lobby. That's where, you know, people just kind of chit chat about stuff. Introduce yourself where new members come in and will introduce themselves and other people will welcome them back. A great way to just start, you know, um, introducing what you're here for. Uh, without necessarily self-promoting. Most of them is just like, hi, how are you? I do this. Um, but not, you know, force them into anything or trying to sell them right away. You want to not spam out these groups because they are heavily moderated. Um, you can see the industry stats uh, right here. I posted a slide share for the business. You can see right here it's just kind of uh, a plus slide share, so I got slide shares attention. I don't want to be following them. And then I did a hashtag, small business, a popular hashtag, and see it's gotten five pluses and a share. So you do get you know traction within these groups. You will get shared, and people will go out to your articles and stuff like that. 
can also I did that because there's a lot of industry stats within that slide share. That's why I was able to do that. And then if I had a how-to article, I'd put it and post it in this section of the community. You want to hashtag it, and if you plus people, you add people to your posts. That's always good, also. So go ahead and uh, join as many targeted Google Plus communities as possible. Go ahead and just start um, searching. You know your location. I'd, I'd search for the San Diego one and I'd do all the marketing ones and small business ones and it depends you, you know whatever your your keywords are join communities and if you see that there isn't a community that you think would be a great place to collaborate with people then go ahead and make a community but I recommend going and switching to your to your actual uh, business page <clears throat> and not your personal account and with your your business page going over to um, communities and then once you're in the communities you can create a community right up here and you want to make it mainly you'd want to make them public and um, so it'll be indexed by Google and then go through and you can add moderators and all sorts of stuff and then we'll go into that deeper a little bit optimizing our own communities at a later date thank you very much start jumping into communities have fun with it and enjoy your task thank you